Yo, what's going on people, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video on Valorant. Today's video is going to be all about how to optimize Valorant, how to get more FPS and tweak about Valorant. So make sure you guys stick around till the end. If you guys already know, I have already made two videos on Valorant in the past, but this video is going to be really different from all of them. And I hope this video helps you out. So make sure you guys leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more. I've been seeing that 96% of you guys haven't yet subscribed to the channel. So it's my request please subscribe to the channel and with all that said let's get started before moving ahead i highly recommend you guys create a restore point for your pc for that type in create a restore point then choose your local disk c hit create type in valorant fps hit create and that is going to create a restore point in your PC alright first things first we're gonna be talking about the Windows update for that you have to go to your settings and then go to Windows update over here and then make sure you guys check for Windows update and then view optional update go to driver updates and download all of the updates that is showing then go to your control panel and then type in power go to power options and then make sure it has high performance go hit change plan settings then change advanced plan settings then scroll down until you find wireless adapter settings over there go to power saving mode make sure that is on maximum performance hit ok and close this then type in game mode and go to game mode settings Make sure that the game mode is enabled, then go to graphics settings, make sure to turn the hardware acceleration on, then choose desktop app, go to browse and search for Valorant. Basically, Valorant is in local disk C, write games, Valorant, live, and here is the exe. Hit add, then go to options and make sure you have it on high performance next thing is go to device manager search for device manager and then you'll be coming over here then go to display adapters right click hit update driver search automatically for the drivers make sure you have the latest drivers installed for your display drivers then search for background apps make sure you disable this in that way you're gonna be saving a lot of memory in the background for your game oh yeah before going ahead I want to tell you guys about Vanitas it is a very trusted brand for 75% gaming keyboards gaming mice and their own keycap collection they ship all around the world and the shipment is free in US and Canada they have this awesome sale going on for Northern Glow Keyboard. You can avail any keycap set or swapper pro mouse for absolutely free. All you have to do is go to the website from the link in the description below and buy the keyboard. And while you check out, use coupon code BEARFOX to get an additional flat 10% off. Now back to the video. Once you're done with all of those settings, Download Valorant Episode 3 FPS Boost Pack by Litranger, one of my very good friends who have made this pack. Um, I'll be leaving a link to this pack in the description below, you guys can download it from there. First thing is the registry optimization. Once you're in the first folder, hit the administrative permissions and change the key values. Now if all of these made any problem in your PC, you can go in revert and then apply all of them to revert the changes. Alright, then you have to go to GPU optimization. Now, if you're using the AMD drivers, you can use the first one. If you're using the NVIDIA drivers, you can use the second one. And make sure you guys use this one for NVIDIA drivers again. If you're NVIDIA users, make sure you use two of these registrations. Once you're with that, go back and then go to the second folder that is GPU tweaks. Then, the first one is the Interrupt Affinity Policy tool. Now, there are two things that you're going to be seeing over here. First is the x64 and second is the x86. Now, which one to use? Go and type this PC and then go to Properties. Now, search for a system type. 
I have an x64 based processor so I'm gonna be using the x64 right click and run it as administrator it will open a program like this then what you have to do is scroll down and find your um, GPU driver then hit set mask if you're using a processor which has less than four cores enable CPU 1 if you're using a processor which has more than four cores go for CPU 2 and 3 hit OK and hit done then go to advanced and then make sure you guys choose the IRQ policy all processors in machine hit OK then hit done once you're done with that go to mode tool v2 right click on that and run it as administrator once you guys run this as administrator you guys can see an application like this you have to find in your gpu driver make sure you guys enable this thing and then from undefined put it to high hit apply and close you have to double click and make sure you guys run nvidia thread priority hit yes and hit ok if that made any issue, you guys can revert it back again. Once done with that, the third thing is the RAM optimization. Now you have to find how much installed memory you have. For that, type in this PC and go to properties again. As you guys can see, install RAM is 16 GB. So here is the 16 GB registry file. You have to use it. As you guys can see, I'm going to be hitting yes and it's done. Now here is the mouse acceleration. Go to settings and then find display. If you scroll down you'll see something called scale and layout. Here it will show 100%. That is recommended. If for you it can be 125, 150 or 175 respectively. So we have all of these. I have 100% scaling so as you guys can see hit yes and hit ok. Next thing is the Valorant Priority. Here you have to use Valorant High Priority dot reg. Then Batch File Optimization. Here you have something called Cache Cleaner. You have to right click, run it as administrator. It will take a little bit of time cleaning all of the cache files in your PC. Once done with that. You have to run this command and this command as well. Once done with that, you've got programs. Here is the CC cleaner which you have to use to clean your PC. For me, I'm going to be using Bitdefender. Again, we've got something called utilities where we have something called one click optimizer. You have to click optimize and then wait for it to find the junk in your PC hit optimize hit ok hit optimize again and you're done next thing is the ISLC you have to click on this thing and something will open up like this now make sure you have the list size at 1024 your memory lower than 8000 since I have 16 GB of memory installed the wanted timer resolution at 0 0.50 hit start once you're done with that go back and then go to throttle stop now this is the one for all the users who are using just the Intel CPU and not any GPU you have to double click and run this app Make sure you guys restart your PC once. And then once you're done with all of those settings, here is something you have to use called Net Limiter. Open this application up and then find Valorant. Here is Valorant. You have to right click on that and from Priority Normal, you have to click High and it's Save. Then we have something called Memreduct. I'll be leaving all of the links in the description below. Now I'll explain you how Memreduct works. For that, I'll open up my task manager and as you guys can see, there is a 39% of memory consumption in my PC. 
Once I hit clean memory and I hit yes, it goes all the way down. So every time before you run Valorant, make sure you guys use Memreduct as well. And then open up Valorant. Okay, once you are in Valorant, you have to go to the settings, go to video, and then over here, make sure you use 1920 by 1080 or whichever which is suitable for you. And make sure you guys play on windowed full screen or full screen. Then go to graphics quality and make sure everything is low. The anti-aliasing is none and it's on 1x. All of these options off and hit close settings. Once you're done with all of that, you'll be getting better FPS. So guys, that was all for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If it did help you, make sure to do leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Also, this video is made possible by Lit Ranger. So make sure you guys check out his channel as well. I'll be leaving a link to his channel in the description below. Make sure you guys show some support to us. And we'll see you guys in the next great video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.